Come join me as I get the work boots ready for winter. Welcome back to another video and today it's all about shining my boots. So I have a few different ways I, I care for my shoes and um, depending on what they are will really affect the type of, of polishing I'll, I'll give to them. So if it's a pair of Oxfords, um, I'll tend to spit shine them. Um, but in the case of today's uh, shoes, my uh, Doc Martens, I'll, I go through a slightly different process. I, I, I wear these fairly frequently. They're extremely comfortable. If anybody has ever tried a pair of Doc Martens will know that with the, the airwear sole, they're incredibly comfortable shoes, great for wearing for an extended period of time. But I tend to wear them mostly outside if I'm doing work outside. So it's that time of year where we're, we're in autumn, um, winter's coming soon. I'll wear them a little bit more, um, doing yard work, cleaning up outside, and eventually when I'm, I'm shoveling snow or going for walks. So I, I want to make sure that they're, they're conditioned and, and importantly that they're waterproof. You know, being outside for extended periods of time in the snow, I want to make sure my feet stay warm and dry. So I'm going to go through the process of what I do to care for these. And, um, you know, hopefully take, they're looking pretty rough um, hopefully the end result will be a lot better. So stay tuned. So the first thing I want to do is to condition the boots. And for that, I use a Saphir Renovateur cream. It's a, if, if you haven't tried Saphir, it's a, a French uh, shoe polish uh, brand. Absolutely fantastic. Incredible quality. It is a little bit more expensive than, say, Kiwi, which isn't really for long-term care of shoes isn't perhaps the best. It's not terrible, but it's not ultimately the best. So I do like to use uh, Saphir. Um, very easy to apply. It is a, a cream. And for that, I'll use a Kiwi. Now, a Kiwi cloth, cloths are great. Um, I tend to use them really. These are great for spit shining shoes. But what I, what I do is I, I won't use a brush. I won't use an applicator brush for this that just really tends to smear polish and cream around but i'll you i'll put a, a some of the cream on the tip of the uh, of my finger wrapped with the, the kiwi and i'll just work it into the shoe um you may notice it does darken the shoe a little bit as you're putting it on but that's just temporary so i'll work it in and immediately you can see the 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 leather absorbing the cream um, and giving it a nice uh, a bit of a sheen. So it's going to take a few applications. And what I do, once I have uh, applied the, the cream, I will let it sit for a few minutes before the next stage. I tend to do this twice a year, um, at, the, at this time of year, autumn, beginning of winter, and then again in the spring. I find that what I'm doing now will tend to tend to hold and last f for most of the season. So yeah, it's already looking uh, it's already looking a lot healthier. I find polishing shoes um, somewhat therapeutic. Now, if I was doing this, not filming a video, I'd probably have some music or put a another YouTube video on and perhaps even enjoy a cigar as well. So it doesn't take too long, just a few minutes, just to work the cream into the leather. Now, if this was a pair of my um, more dress shoes, my brogues, uh, Oxfords, I would perhaps um, clean the edge of the sole as well, but I'll just uh, forego that for this. But yeah, it's looking great already.
So I'm just working it in just to really get the cream really absorbed into the leather. For this, I don't think you really need to use a kiwi. I think any cloth would work, but I've just always defaulted to kiwi cloths. So there's the first pair. You can already see, you can see the compared to the other shoe, there's a bit of a, a shine and a bit of a glisten. So I'm going to um, treat the second boot and I'll come back to you and we'll move on to the next thing. So I've now applied the Renovateur cream to both boots. And as you can see, they're looking a little bit, if you can see, I hope you can, you can see from there, they're looking a little bit healthier, a little bit more conditioned. Um, the next stage is, I, and this is something I really only do for my, my work boots. I don't apply this next product to my other shoes, which I tend to really not wear in the snow or in, in the rain as much as I can. Um, but this, so this is the only time I will use this next product because I will be wearing these for extended periods outside. It's, uh, it's Dubbin, uh, Kelly's Dubbin, and there's a few different brands of Dubbin. Dubbin is a waterproof um, product. It's, um, it's, it's like Vaseline. It's, it has the same consistency as Vaseline. And for this, now again, I wouldn't use this on, on a pair of more formal dress shoes. Uh, and I apply it the same way. So I just apply some to the edge, tip of my, my finger with the, the kiwi cloth. And, and the same process. I'll just work it into the leather on top of the... Uh, the the renovator and this will start to bring out a bit of a shine again so it's basically it's a greasy wax and it does you know it does have some qualities uh whereby it does condition and and put and clean the leather as well but already you can see the the transformation from the rather tired dried boots they were to now it's looking quite different. Reminds me, uh, shining shoes like this with a kiwi cloth wrapped around my finger reminds me of being in the army, spending hours and hours with my, my Oxfords. And then we had something called garrison boots, which were fairly high boots that went up the calf. Um, and they had to be very highly spit shined. So I'd sit for hours and hours with a kiwi wrapped around my finger, my hand moving in circular motions for hours and hours, bringing my boots to a higher shine. Not something I really spend too much time doing now. At least not as much as I did then. This is, I think, a real dying art. I don't think there are too many people today that actually polish their shoes you know, or know how to spit shine, but it's something I really believe that every, everybody, every young man, everybody in, you know, in general should know. And, and really, I, one of the reasons for that is if you're, if you're investing in a pair of good leather shoes, taking care of them, most definitely will extend extend the lifespan. I mean, and they look good, you know. Um, they say that one of the first things people notice when they're meeting somebody is the state of their shoes, the condition of their shoes. So, yeah, but it's often one of the most overlooked aspects of, and especially for men, um, a man's overall presentation. It you know. See too many people walking around with dirty, scuffed shoes. You can have the best looking suit in the world, but if the shoes look like crap, then the whole thing is going to end up looking like crap. But this is going in really well. So a nice coating of the dubbin. And you can, you can pick up dubbin pretty much in a lot of shoe shops um, for just a few dollars. It's not terribly expensive. Again, the Saphir is a little bit more expensive than most uh, shoe care brands, but it is perhaps the highest quality sh um, polish you, you can you can buy. And so if you're investing uh, you know, a significant amount into a pair of shoes, why not give them the best treatments possible? 
So there we go. Okay, so I've applied now. So the Renovato cream has, gone, uh, has been applied. It's absorbed into the leather. And I've now applied a nice coating of the dubbin. And this will really help preserve them, waterproof them um, for the next, I'd say this will be last me definitely for the next two to three months. So the next stage is applying the final um, product, which is a, a polish, and just to buff them up and make them look really presentable. So for this final step, again, I'm using a Sophia product, a medium brown cream. Um, you can use a, a, a polish, um, a, a regular polish, but I do, I, I just like the way the cream applies and really works into the leather. So I'm applying it in the same way I applied the Renovata and the, and the Dubbin. I'll just apply it with a Kiwi cloth. And it's, it doesn't take too much. You'd be surprised just how long uh, a jar of this does last. Now for this, I mean, if I was, if I was really didn't care about working it into the leather, and, and just being as quick as possible, I might use uh, an applicator brush, but I find this does a much more detailed job. And applicator brushes, I don't know, they just seem a little bit too rough. Um, I used to use them again when I was in the army for things like my combat boots, but um, I tend to really not use them too much anymore. So now you can really start to see the, the deep, rich color show through and the shine and, and just the, it almost seemed like the leather's been brought back to health. It's amazing just how quickly shoe leather does dry out. It might not, you know, we might not think about it too much, but you know, when, when you look at it from when I started to now, you just realize just how dry it was. So I am applying this with a kiwi cloth, uh, and once done, um, I will be using a brush for the final stage. So I'll take care of this boot, and I'll see you on the other side. So the final stages now, um, I've applied the renovateur to condition the leather, and I then applied the dubbin to give it that nice waterproof shield. And the final step, I applied the, uh, the Saphir medium brown uh, shoe paste. So now it's the final step is the, the final brushing. So just to bring out some of the shine. Um, I have a few different brushes I use. Um, this is a, a Kiwi. Um, I use this for black shoes. I have changed for black shoes to a Chini. Um, when I purchased my Chini shoes, um, my Chini brogues, I did pick up a Chini brush as well. Um, this much softer, I believe it's horse hair, this much softer hair. But for brown shoes, I do have another Kiwi brush, um, a little bit coarser than the Chini, but this uh, is a brush I will use for, for these boots. So just as you would any pair of shoes, just back and forth motions. I try not to uh, go too crazy. just some nice gentle sweeps across and this really not only does it shine the boot it really works all of the products into the leather There we go, that will do for now. And the final one. Now, I think the shine would actually stand out a little bit more if I was to have left the, the shoe, the, 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 the paste to sit for a few more minutes. But I'm not aiming for absolute formal shoe shine standards with these. Really, the idea here is just to protect them uh, through another winter. 
And really doing this too, it, it, it extends the life of the boot. You know, it's, I've had these for a, a few years now and there's absolutely no reason why they won't be good for several more. So just a few minutes of care a couple of times a year with, with, with some cleanings and maybe a quick polish in between um, really can extend the life of the boot for uh, several years. So it's well worth the time and the expense of taking a few minutes to, to give them a, a good once over, but it's worth the expense of, of investing in some good quality shoe care products. I think we're done. Take a look at them both together. And voila, I've taken care of them for another another season. So yeah, I'd love to hear what you what you guys do um, to take care of your shoes, your uh, your work boots, um, what products you use, and if you have any any you know ideas of some great products um, and you want to share them, you know, drop me a comment below. But um, so this is uh, how I'm taking care of my work boots, and uh, I'll, I'll do another video of, uh, of a spit shine of, uh, of a more formal pair of shoes, so you can see the process I go through there. But it, fairly simple, uh, the renovateur cream to condition the leather, the dubbing to protect it, and then the final step, the shoe paste, and the final brushing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I would truly, truly appreciate you subscribing if you did. Uh, really motivates me to keep creating more content like this. And um, and if you like the video, you know, giving it a thumbs up too, that would really help. But thanks for watching. Um, and um, until the next video, take care of yourself.